and welcome to my stream tonight. We have another Flashpoint Frenzy run. In tonight's run, we're going to be doing a rematch. Uh, we're going to be trying to run through Manon and uh, Legacy of the Ricotta Flashpoints again. Last time, we encountered some technical difficulties and we had to cut the streams short. So we're back for revenge, even though it's not really technically the Jedi way, but I mean, I guess Kel could do that. Her, her, her uh, Kel's, Kel's Jedi is a uh, gray Jedi. So without further ado, let's hop over to Kel in Discord and let's get this shell on the road. Hello, Kel. Smile. You're on Twitch.tv. Hello. And I think Kel might be AFK, so we're just gonna give them a couple of minutes. So you're gonna head over to Manon. That 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 should make stuff easier. Oricon. What am I doing in Oricon? Hello. Shiro, he's ready to go. Alright, yep. so Manon, huh? Yep. Sorry, I was late. I was helping get another uh, friend over in another game. No worries. All right, I ended up showing off some swooping. Don't so, me. let's exit to Manon. I didn't reset the phase or anything. I, so, I'm pretty sure I did when uh, yeah, right after we left. I don't know what it will do to us. Also, I wish we could play a cell cat, but I know why they won't do that. And it upsets me. <laughs> I mean, they'll probably not do that because their speech is just too squishy. No, it's romance. One of the main reasons they don't do a few of the different species is um, they aren't humanoid enough in order to fulfill certain romance stuff. So... Oh. I'm working towards being able to get the Impala. mount that you can buy from this guy. Oh, right. The uh, D5 submerse. So, um, I cannot talk today. It's like 50 of those crazy things, and it's very upsetting. All right, let me mess with the volume real quick, just to make sure everybody can hear you nice and clear. All right, and if anybody is having trouble hearing my stuff on my end, just let me know. All right, so, Shiro, let's do this. Let's go. Also, I was showing off my new title that I got recently, the um, Eternal Champion title. Oh, sweet. I'm very excited. Do I have anything interesting in here that would be really funny for... Yeah, I'll be a Raider of the Cove. Sounds like a good idea. What am I? I I'm still the usual Shirogami the Pure, the mysterious stranger. I mean, that makes sense for you. Yeah. I'm also going to be a deep programmer. I do love that. All right. Let's see if it works, us going in. It certainly didn't get angry at me. I mean, as long as it didn't get angry, that's what matters. Did, Did it, it let you in? Yep. Okay. All right, it worked. It is saying that we'll have to start from the beginning, but that's a very good place to start, so I'm okay with it. Yep. I've never noticed this droid out here before. This weather Which monitor one? probe. Oh. That's hilarious. I want a weather monitor probe, and it's updating the forecast. 
the nah, detail yeah. that they put into this. True. It yeah. says the forecast. Pleasant. Temperature moderate. Winds mild. Seas calm. That's epic. It's cute. <laughs> I'm dying a little inside. Okay. I'm fine. Everything is fine. We Here we need go. you. It's just so cute. Does this guy have a cute little buff? No, he doesn't have any cute buffs. He has there lots of immunity. He does. There is another weather probe over there, though. Yeah, but no buff on that one. Every time oh. I need to just keep checking my character sheet, make sure I have my gear on. I am glad that you checked that. All right. And I am proud to announce zero do drop frames due to network, so... Sweet. So far that's better, though last time the issue was a memory leak, but this time I just turned off my computer for a couple hours before this. So I'm guessing we're gonna go for the achievement and pop barrels? Uh, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't we? True. And I don't think I'm gonna bother reading that again. I've already done it once. <laughs> you did. Plus, I've had my fair share of reading out loud today during my morning stream. Yeah, let's not wear out your voice too much, huh? Yeah, probably a good idea. All right. I forgot, I did not forget how tanky these are, so I was like, you know what? I don't feel like it. Alright, kick it in the face. I wish that the um, Colto would just sit on you for a while. Very true. It would have been much better if it was like that. But it does also make sense that it fades away quickly. Yeah, I guess. Or are there more Valor somehow? Hey, I'll take it. Just a moment for me, please. Take your time. Just gonna mess with one thing. Here we go. I do love being able to see a preview of my stream. Um, 
as I'm streaming now with this new layout of OBS. Sweet. So you can basically kind of like see your stream as it's happening. Yeah, and I noticed that even though it doesn't say I'm dropping any frames, it's a bit choppier than I would have liked. So. Gotcha. All right, you ready for this? All right, let's go. And we're probably just gonna go through the cutscene again. Like, do you want to show the whole thing? I mean, might as well. Works for me. Because you never know, somebody might just be joining and... Us skipping that one in particular would be like, um, yeah, That's not right. what I came here for. <laughs> fast enough. So for those of you joining us for the first time tonight, essentially in this fight, the shields trade back and forth, which is fine. Like that's easy enough and it's a normal mechanic for a few different fights. The issue is that there are two cleaves that wreak havoc throughout the fight. One throws you up in the air, the other one just like flings you. And I want neither of those, but if I had to choose one, it would be the fling in the air one, because that's the least annoying, because this is deeply annoying. And me as a TPS just get to smack the boss from behind several times until he's dead. Pretty much. And you want to take out the boss, like, ideally. But sometimes you take out the droids first. Yep. Alright. Alright, let's pop in the barrels we see before we proceed. And why we are popping barrels is there is an achievement for beating up the barrels. And I don't remember how far along we got last time of that. Last time we barely beat the, uh second boss because you DC'd half fight and I was kind of like by myself. Yeah, looks like we, I'm at least at 51 barrels out of the, I think it's 200 or something, I'll need to look again. Oh wait, so it's kind of like a total then. Yeah. Oh, I, I think the assumption is you have to run it multiple times. Probably, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll probably look it up, too, just to see. 
I don't like to share his appreciation for this noble rescue. You don't need to clarify your master's words. I understand them perfectly well. Oh, dear. Please let us out of here. We beg you. The security here is a joke. If you were bad enough to get caught, you'll just get in the way. My esteemed master Jukaro is a specialist in discreet cargo delivery. I am his translator, C2D4, former servant of Remini's Queen Mina of... Yes, well, Jukaro was contracted by a cellcast geneticist, Garima, to deliver certain medical equipment, perfectly legal, to this facility. But once the delivery was made, payment was never rendered. Instead, we were imprisoned and interrogated by two very unpleasant individuals. <laughs> Colonel Derek and Doc August? We were never introduced. Very rude, to be perfectly honest. After the interrogation, they told Garima to use us as fodder for some kind of experiment. The Sith rarely take prisoners. These experiments must be very important to them. The possibilities are troubling, to say the least. The Taurus are fast. Just a little ding around these two. Charges against them both with leveling, disorderly conduct, or theft. Even the droids? Yeah, but you ask. Never mind. Uh, whatever they may have done, my contact has a good feeling about it. I think they might come in handy. We'll see if she's right. You'd better not betray us. I'll be watching you. Honestly, with that line, I think uh, if they're a force user, they should just destroy the whole thing with kind of like flick of the wrist. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, like betray me and die. And then they just destroy it using the force. Kill, are you muted? I don't know why, but my keybind is not working. Who oh, knew? But I said, yeah, basically, huge missed opportunity, Bioware. Honestly, yes. My mute keybind is totally working for one thing, but not the other. Who knows why, but... Because technology. Yeah, whatever, I just... Don't care at this point. Oh, hi. You were around that corner. That's cool. Fine. You want to be overzealous? I will be overzealous. Have my heroic moment. <laughs> Definitely an overreaction to the situation, but this is fine. I mean... Uh, let me break on just normal as it's normal. <laughs> it's fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. The house is burning down. Kick him in the face. Okay, I thought I did one enough attack to take out that last one. How weird. Anyway, this is fine. We're good. We defeated them. That's all that matters. Very true. Ooh, look at the barrels. There's a lot. I mean, how many barrels do I actually need for doing this? I could find it. Uh, what was the name of this thing again? Depths of Manon. Depths of Manon, and it's called Certified Organic. And actually, now I have to wonder if... Um, you have to huh. do it, and not someone in your group. I don't know. I'll have to look. 
No, 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 no heals for you. Yeah, so apparently I have 76 out of 500. Very nice. It does suit you, breaking barrels. Yeah, I, I, I like to click the shinies. What? Nice. So I'm at 76 after this. See where you're at and then. All right, so that got me to 58. So what happens when you kick this barrel? All right, let me, you kick that barrel. So let me see if it actually counted for me or not. And do, do, 76, nope, we have to do it ourselves. Okay, well, come on over here. There are two over here. You should kick them. By the way, does it bother you that I have Theron's haircut on this too? No, no. <laughs> no. I'm not bothered or angry. I'm sure. For those of you joining us, um, the reason why he has so many issues is that Theron out DPS'd him. And Shiro didn't like that. All right, you get the next two. And there's nothing over here. Uh, let's go after these three golds. Sound good? All right. Ouch. Oh, the silvers came to play. Yeah, as soon as you hit them, they yoinked me. How strange. Not very nice at all. I'm gonna take the silvers out first, because that's gonna be less DPS. Alright, I will just fixate on annoying these droids. Take the adapt out. Kick you in the face. Nice. Can't remember if there were barrels back here. Oh wait, that's not a thing need to go, but okay. No barrels here. I got a barrel over here. Alright, I'll get these three. And I'll grab this back one. Grab the other one too. Okay. That puts me at 64. Cool. Someday over the rainbow. We will kick barrels. Alright, Warden first. Gonna yoink him. Somebody was watching one of my streams the other day and they're like, you are the reason that I use heroic moments. <laughs> Like, That's I find awesome. it to be an underused item. <laughs> I only really ever use it if I'm in a boss fight. See, I just use it as soon as it's ready in a lot of cases, because why not? Da, 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 if it speeds things along. If I don't want to speed things along, then I don't. I mean, fair enough. Alright. If I remember correctly, there were not barrels around these. No, nope. unfortunately not. Honestly, it's so cute. So Sorry, far, go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say, honestly, so far we're making good progress on this flashpoint. Oh yeah. I mean, it helps that we ran this last time. Yeah. I mean, pretty true. Ow. That wasn't very nice. Ow. Do -do -do. 
do, do, do. Come wake up me. There we go. Alright, so I'll grab one barrel, you grab the other. Alright. I invited, um, I had a friend invite me to something today, and I wasn't on a Kel tune, and they were very confused. No. It was one of the more funny moments. I mean, after some time, if you're going with a certain theme, <laughs> if that theme just suddenly disappears, then it's kind of like, what? Yeah, that essentially is what happened. But I got quite the chuckle out of it. Because, like, I do have a decent amount of kill tunes, but it's certainly not the grand total of my tunes that I play regularly. I play about 20 regularly. Maybe 23. And... I think it's like eight or nine of them are kill tunes. The rest are probably just something else. Yeah, so my original theme for naming tunes was to have my legacies like thing kind of incorporated, and the thing of my legacy was having AE in the name. Gotcha. And so, like, I created a tune KG for Kel Griffin, and like K was K E K A E, so I don't know. I, I I'm not exactly the most creative. I mean, I I wouldn't really consider myself creative since like basically what I do is I see what kind of if I'm not making if it's kind of like I'm in a game and it's not the first thing that I'm doing then it's not gonna be Shiro. It's probably gonna be. Uh, if the game has multiple classes, basically the name of that class, but in Japanese. Right, like, because didn't you say something along the lines of, like, your... What's the, what's the imp side tune that you have that it's, like, white hair, so the name is based in that? I mean, this tune is uh, Shirogami, white hair based on the hair. My imp tune is Akagame, red hair, based on right. an anime character, mostly. And this is mostly derived. Uh, it's inspired from anime characters, too. Uh, but kind of like when it, after those two, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to have multiple tunes that are just named after the hair. It's <laughs> After a while, it's just gonna get a bit ridiculous. So, my shadow, uh, I named it Kage Kote, which basically translates to Shadow Emperor. And then I started kind of like going off of that theme. My Vanguard, I named it the Nason, which is basically Mr. Vanguard. Oh, and I like that. Stuff like that. I kind of draw some of my names similarly. So, this is a Jedi Shadow and Air. Um, E-R-E is part of the Celtic word shadow, so I just kind of incorporated Kel in there, and yeah, but I'm not nearly as good about that stuff. Alright, my heroic moment is back. Are you ready to rumba? Let's go. Alright. Hi there, big guy. You're my new best friend. Three, two, one, zoom. I love his outfit. It is pretty neat. Why do you stun me? Why do you break my heart like that? Smack me in the face. And here comes Flo. Yeah. 
No, I'm stunned. There we go. Here, I'll, I'll get the ads. Thank you, I appreciate it. No problem. Not nice. Keep stunning me like that's okay or something. No, stop it. Oh, flow. Flow. Three, four. Yes. Smack it in the face. Not nice. Wow, I lost aggro at one point. Sorry about that. Oh, that's all good. I didn't even realize it, to be honest. Not nice. He really likes to stun me. It's really just not pleasant. Yeah, I don't get it with people who just like to stun, it's like, it's not that fun. I could do the same to you and you're not gonna be happy. <laughs> Gosh, five times this time? Hello. Is at five percent. Alright, I'm just gonna focus boss then. Two percent, one, and he is done. Nice. Nice and smooth. Very good. Just listening to Bay. Don't worry about me. <laughs> no problem at all. I mean, Lana is endgame after all. Totes. I love seeing Treek walk through that door. <laughs> You need to stop what you're doing and answer my questions. As Uge Freda led job as Ulrik Viko had milked Aki Sok. I want to know what Derek and Artis are planning. What are you doing here? Both the sack back out as all negre. I can't even follow my. Make this hot to sad man. Says a malice nehes wrote Felis Nerni. Don't have to be like him, Jakara. You 
can be better. Darn it. <laughs> well, that explains the dead guards. I knew I sensed someone familiar. I told you to let it go. You did your part. None of this concerns He's got a great voice. I mean, you're not wrong. You want to surrender without violence. I want to... <laughs> English tricks won't change anything. Gorilla, thank you for forwarding the research data along. Our infinite army will serve us well. You can keep the prototype. Manon. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, you could have at least left us a sandwich or something. Right? Like, anything would have been nice. I'll get this one, you get the other one. Alright. Oh, the other one that's over by the big ol' robots. Got yeah. it. I mean, you're the tank. Hello, auto repair droid. See, if I wasn't so squishy, I would have gotten there and popped it myself. I believe you. Jeez, for a healer, that was a tanky bot. <laughs> yeah, at the end there, uh, the bot just kept healing itself. Really good healer. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess I sh could get some tips from it, I don't I mean, I need to learn too, so... All right, where are those barrels? Right, so there's one over here, and the other one is over there. Over by the pain. All right, I'm gonna yoink that repair bot over here. Ready, set? All right, let's go. Oh, great, they came over anyway. Your faces. All right. And here we go. Other barrel. Boom, barrel. All right. That cyborg champion is after you. I can sense his power from here. It's considerable. I love Lana's panic. <laughs> I really think they should have included it's over nine thousand. Yes. <laughs> Regina. All right. Where's my sensu bean? Sensu bean. All right. For those uninitiated, essentially, you have to defeat this guy. The way to get his bubble down is to get him into the fiery doom. 
I am waiting for said fiery doom. And go. Ow. That wasn't so very nice. Basically kicked you and then got it. And I got it to ten. Waiting to use my taunt until he does something interesting, but all right, I'm just gonna use my AOE taunt. Where's my flame? Where's the flame? Cut me off a piece of that flame, flame, flame. Ow! Again with the kicking. Okay. Hello. I would like you to come with me. Did Lana forget she was Imperial for a second there? Uh, maybe? Ow. Dude is not nice. Is there another flame? No. There it is. Hi, hey man. Come with me. We're here. Yeah. That. Fire's oh, over there. Going over here. You're a big guy. Very good. Here come ads. I'll get ads. And apparently I'll get boss too. I got him. Right, I pirate. don't got him. What the heck? No more ads. He really likes to kick. Alright, All right, get him over to fire. And there he goes. <laughs> there we go. Go tea. Woohoo. Uh, no barrels here. Well, that's disappointing. We love barrels. I know. Is ready. Don't trouble. All right. Well, we did it. Woohoo! 
and I had zero dropped frames via network and only two drop frames out of 271,000 frames due to rendering lag, aka during the loading screen. <laughs> That's All awesome. Right. So, for the uninitiated, you'll notice that this is where we pick up our loot. Normally you would pick up your loot from the boss, but in this one, you pick it up here and get some more research. Nice. Sweet. And I still am not getting the last piece that I need for my death knell set. Oh no. What are you looking for? I'm looking for a uh, armoring, a 306 armoring. Oh. It shall come, I'm sure. Hopefully. All right. So, where do we go next after this, Shiro? After this, we are heading to Fleet to pick up the legacy of the Ricotta Flashpoint and do that one. Very nice. All right. Heading to Fleet then. And I did test it. I went to Fleet. Nothing bad happened. No dropped anything earlier. So That's we're good. good. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. I'm fleet just doing the uh, emergency fleet class. We'll see who gets to where we need to go first, me or Shiro. Since I have no idea where I'm going, I'm gonna say Shiro. Alright, so it's basically the outbound missions. It's right next to the uh, Tython and Corbin incursion flashpoints. Oh, okay. So that's mission departures, yes? Uh, was it mission departures or outbound missions? Well, I think outbound is in mission departures, if I'm not mistaken. Y'all, I might beat Shiro there. Yeah, I just loaded in. <laughs> and I keep hitting stuff on the way. Well, I'll check outbound and see if that's the right one. So, what's coming up? Uh, we are gonna go do the uh, Ricotta stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yep, yep. It is outbound. Oh, that's cool. I want that. Holocron of the Ancient Masters. Cool looking. Oh, that is neat. I think that one is the one that's uh, at the Jedi Temple on Tython. Oh, yeah. And I went to Are the you going one. to the wrong one? <laughs> <laughs> Clearance equals granted. Theron Sean equals waiting. Shiro you equals rar. Shiro equals rar. Veteran mode again? Yep, yep. Yeah. Alright. Let's go. This one has some interesting ones involved. Very true. Plus, it's one of the most prettiest. One of the prettiest, uh, Flashpoints I've ever seen. Oh, definitely. Alright. Well, I am glad I turned down trees and grass a little bit. That will probably help. Do we have a plan ready? I don't know if it's fair to describe it as a plan. <laughs> but I think... <clears throat> I've done a bit of scouting. The Revanites are camped in the Temple of the Ancients, an old ruin nearby. If we've gotten this far without being detected, 
time for you to go in and make some noise. security do the Revanites have? They've convinced some of the local Rakatan tribes to patrol the areas around the temple for them. A truly barbaric lot. The Revanites themselves are guarding the temple grounds. They're fully armed and paranoid. Wonderful. We'll be keeping an eye on things from the ship. As long as we all stay sharp, we'll get this conspiracy shut down permanently. May the fort serve you well. Anything you say, Lana. Oh, so Lana early on looks odd to me. Like she has a cold. <laughs> like she has too much makeup on. Hey, it's her body, it's her choices. You can wear makeup or not. I mean, yeah. It's just... Uh... Bad memories. <laughs> Did you have some emo days? Mm, not really. Well, <laughs> not me at least. I was never a huge fan of makeup. It just was too much work. So I never really got into it, but I also was just very lucky. Like, yeah, I did have acne, but it was situational. Like stress and stuff. And even uh. still, I only really get acne if I'm stressed, so... I, so many of my friends struggled with it. I just didn't need the makeup. Yeah. I also didn't have the patience for it. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I definitely don't. Those are really cool lightsabers. I really love them. It's just so pretty. Alright. Yep, I definitely do not regret not selling them and just using them and adding them to the collection. <laughs> they, are, they are definitely worth it, in my opinion. I mean, they're epically good. I can't fault you. Love the fact that basically there's a part of them that, uh, in cutscenes, if you zoom in, kind of like where the saber is, you'll find the crystal chamber exposed and just cover it up with a little bit of wraps. It is so cool. Like, I love the lightsabers in general that have the crystal exposed. Like, that was one of the reasons I chose this one, but this one was honestly really cheap on the GPN, uh, GTN. I... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think there's another version of it where instead of in the middle, it's kind of like at the very end. Or instead of at the end, it's at the very middle. Cause yeah. Yours are at the ends. I, 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 in my, uh, shadow, I have it where it's at the uh, middle, not the ends. Yeah, I just love it. And like the texture on this one is really cool. It's, I don't know, I 
I wish we could do more with individualizing lightsabers like you can in Fallen Order and that kind of thing, but we'll also take this because it's pretty darn cool. Very true. Something I would like to see introduced is uh, just as you could uh, put, uh, change kind of like the design of your character, the outfit itself, without changing the actual gear, I think you should be able to do that with the weapon too. So, I watch the live streams from SWOTOR each time they come out, and I'm pretty sure that's brought up every time. And every time they say the big issue is that we can't code it. Like, the work behind coding it would be so difficult that they aren't able to do it. Like, it would just be too much of a workload compared to what everything else would be. I mean, I guess that's fair. It's just that I see it in almost every other game that I play, and it's like... Right? If they could do it, you should be able to do it. You're not really a small MMO anymore, if you right. ever were. I have to wonder if those games were built that way to start, though, so that the code was already built in that way, and they wouldn't have to like either start from scratch or even you know, redo a whole bunch of coding. So, here's the thing. Of course, this is a mention of the day. Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> uh... We kind of like... Uh... If, if, here's the thing. Final Fantasy XIV, when it started out, it was probably one of the worst MMOs at launch. Yeah. In the history of MMOs. Ouch. That was kind of like 1.0. Then the current producer and director, uh, Yoshida-san, he took over and was like, okay, we're just gonna redo the entire game from scratch. Nice. By the way, are you ready to go? I'm ready. Okay. Keep talking. Alright. So, uh, he kind of like decided, well, this game, the way it is, not working out. We're just gonna scrap the game and we're just gonna do it all over again. Uh, and then they started introducing little bits and pieces that kind of like enhance the game that probably would take a lot of coding to do. Uh, I know in ESO, the outfit station system, that was not really part of the game itself until like a while after. Plus, I mean, I think it's more that they see how the game usually breaks when they introduce something and something major like that would probably just break the game for weeks. Yeah. I mean, just knowing how many features we get every time they do an update. Um, no. Yeah. I kind of forgot the kill order on this one, but I'm pretty sure it was the war chief first. Because of that fire AoE, which is pretty annoying. All I know is I can't taunt him. Yes, and also uh, on master mode, uh, it's preferably it's preferred that you kill the war chief first because the war chief stuns. Yeah, so far this really isn't bad at all. Like I, it's just a tank and spank, and I'm getting smacked a lot. But yeah. Hey, the, the war chief usually what uh, you like to do is basically kind of like stun the player and then drop an a uh, fire AOE right underneath their feet. Well, that's me. So it does get pretty frustrating. Boing. 
fly away. At least we have these really nice high walls. Very true. some reason, my target keeps switching from the war chief to the rancor. Huh. It's like, I'm hitting the war chief and then suddenly I'm just attacking the rancor. You can throw me over your shoulder at any time now there, big guy. He's almost down. What is he at? 12%. Okay. So for those watching, essentially what I'm doing right now as a tank is just keeping my back to a wall because every time he does the right-handed swipe bad things will happen um, I'll get smacked up against a wall that kind of thing and by having the wall there I don't have to worry about me flying around the room I can keep him essentially in one location which is good since Shiro is a melee he will do that thing that he just did which is tossing me up in the air I use that to get to another wall, and life is good. If the war chief was still up, it would be nice because it would get me out of the fire. Alrighty, how many tech frags am I on? Not bad, almost 3,000. Sweet. Uh, I think they should definitely add, uh, increase the cap for that. Oh my gosh, right? Just 50. add like one or two more zeros, you know? <laughs> gosh, I'd just be happy with 50. Like, honestly just frustrating that you can't gather enough for a full set. Very true. Alright. Let's go keep taking on the Ricotta. So if you don't know the lore of the Ricotta stuff, um, in Knights of the Old Republic you do meet up with the Ricotta. Um, and they're essentially guarding an older temple. Now, in the first Knights of the Old Republic, that temple kind of plays a key role later on. And in the second Knights of the Old Republic, it's more going into the temple to get information, if I'm not mistaken. I got no clue. I haven't played the second one all that much recently. The first one, pretty much a lot, but not the second one. But the first one, it really plays a big role. Um, and a lot of it comes down to gaining the trust of the people on planet. Through nefarious ways. And actually the music that's in the background right now is music from Knights of the Old Republic. That's epic, honestly. The fact that I just creepily know these things, or...? 
Uh, both. So I tend to listen to Star Wars music during the day when I'm working. And I have a few different uh, channels, I guess, that I listen to. I mean, fair and enough. It's one of them. left one there. Sorry about that. Oh, it felt good. Really, it's little cat? Munching? Way longer on master mode. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine. It's annoying enough on story. If you're on your own, like, going through all of these crowds. Ugh. Yep. Goose. Basically, the gold stars are all champion level. Nope, that's gross. And in turn, the silver stars are gold level. Then the scouts are just regular silver levels, instead of no star at all. So what drew you to doing master mode? Flashpoints. Uh, usually the only kind of like reason I do them is uh, I do them with a couple of friends uh, on our imp side guild. One of the squads there is basically uh, basically specializes in running flashpoints and uprising, and uh, Thursday night they do master mode so I used to uh, go over there and help with them when I can I still try and do that if I can but school yeah I don't know if you noticed but I was specifically leaving the weapons crates for you to blow up because I know it would make you smile much appreciated I kind of love this boss up here. Uh, yeah, definitely. I, I love that there's basically a ton of people you can just smack at one all at once. Alright. Sorry about that, got a question I had to answer. Alright, heroic moment is up. Oh, good. Ready, set? Let's go. So, big thing about these, you just want to AoE them down. Because until they're gone, you can't do a ton with the big bad. If I were doing my job as a tank, they'd all be in one spot. Alright. Kick him in the face. Yeah, I kicked you in the face. Yeah. Stole your move. 
He did. That's that's rude. Oh, not again. So really he just has that cleave that you have to care about as a tank, otherwise it's like meh. Alright, so here come our new friends. And AoE taunt. And AoEs. Here, Trick. Here we go. Very nice, and I'm gonna get kicked in the face. Yep. The only issue with AoE taunts and AoE moves is they do have a limitation on how many tombs they hit sometimes. Yep. So even though I'm using it, it's up to eight characters. That's deeply annoying. Not nice. Every time I'd be out of that uh, cone and still hit me. like that I just charged into it. I'm like, bring it, man. Hit me with all you've got. I ain't afraid of you. Yes, he can. Because Theron's great, Chiro. No, he's not. <laughs> so, yeah, I Chiro. refuse. the fact that you have to be in the middle of the door. And in the cutscene, you're at the side of it anyway. <laughs> totally makes sense. Everything is fine. Baron is typing into the facility structural plant now. It's not looking great. Your only option is to pass through the conscription center. Dead ahead. The cyborgs ahead are in some kind of standby mode. They'll activate as soon as you enter the room. Be ready for attack. Blasted sensors. Lana... Could you do a quick perimeter check? I can't tell if these contacts are real or not. Right away. All right, we don't have much time. We can't risk any oh, of the that are falling into Imperial's hands. Overload the console. It'll fry everything inside and kill the cyborgs before they have a chance to wake up. Better to play it safe. I'm setting the console to overload now. Evil. Now, I wish my team would be like, that's not how I roll, buddy. <laughs> what was that? Is everything alright? They found a shortcut. 
Anything out there? No, nothing. Jakara's senses clearly need a bit of adjustment. We wouldn't want to be misled again. Definitely not. Go ahead and keep moving. We'll stay in contact. Nah, I wanted my team to be kind of like telling on there and there. <laughs> maybe, that would be uh, fun. May what? Maybe, maybe I would get him choked or something. Baron said to do it. And that's why I don't want to do it. <laughs> okay. So you would find this amusing, Shiro. I needed to clean out my keyboard, so I took the keys off and was getting ready to clean it. And I realized, you know what, there is nowhere in my apartment that I want to spray compressed air into this area and, like, vent all of this keyboard nastiness. So I need to go outside. So I go down the stairs, and of course I didn't bring a map with me because I figured no one was going to be out there for the five seconds I'd be outside. And of course somebody was coming home at the same time I was going out. And this person just utterly stared at me as I was <laughs> cleaning out this keyboard because it was just an odd vision. Like this random geek outside spraying down their keyboard with compressed air. I mean, it was probably one of your neighbors that was like, oh, so that's what Cal looks like under that mask. <laughs> I mean, we did move here in the middle of the pandemic, so... I'm pretty sure that that, that was the case then. I've never seen this person, though. I think... Like, I haven't met all of my neighbors, obviously, but... We've got to headbutt them with the Onslaught this time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Please headbutt them with your own skull this time. Amazing. I mean, you can use both skulls and just do a double headbutt. <laughs> Conspiracy ends now. My, but we have a very high opinion of ourselves, don't we? This project would have accelerated our plans considerably. Losing it is regrettable, but it will not stop us. You've done a fair bit of damage, it's true, but the project isn't a total loss. After all, you've helpfully delivered yourselves for slaughter. The time for threats is over. Abandon this madness before it destroys you both. <laughs> this? This isn't madness. Madness would be quitting before the plan is complete. I thought I was gonna pick up a rock and just throw it. That would have been hilarious. We'll have the fight you came for, Colonel. Let's get on with it. I am unafraid. That seems like an excessive response, Arcus, but okay, cool. Ready, set? Let's go. We should just kind of like go separate ways so that our companions are far apart and then we'd have less of a chance of getting electrocuted. You are correct. I'll try to keep their focus on me and Zoom will stay back there if I don't move around too much. I'm, I'm going to try and take Arcus out and He's the one that zaps. Alrighty. Oh good, I can't taunt Derek. I can't taunt Derek. This is great. You knew. Not nice. Away, 
So far, I have not seen a single spear from Derek. Which probably means that that mechanic that I'm thinking about is only master mode. I can believe it. Alright, that makes things so much easier. I'm still gonna kill Arcus though, because why not? Works for me. Basically, for people watching at home, if you're gonna ever play this on mask mode for this fight, here's what you need to watch out for. Derek is going to be shooting harpoons. Uh, there's gonna be this uh, mid range AoE bubble right underneath your feet once you're hit with a harpoon. And if you and somebody else from your party have that and you overlap, basically Argus, Argus is gonna zap you and you're both take considerable damage because it kind of amplifies the damage to both of you. Uh, strategy usually is to take out Derek first to prevent the harpoon and then focus on Argus. Also, having a mostly ranged uh, kind of like formation group for this fight is optimal. And I can't tank him, so all I can do is attack. So I'll just try to keep C3 attacking. C3, wow, uh, zoom. C3PO, at your service. I mean, the good thing about this fight is that Jakaro usually holds aggro for quite some time. Okay, so apparently the mechanic still exists, but there isn't really any uh, AoE thing. Because I, I do have the impale debuff on me. Which you are impelled by Derek's blade. And if you look up my tune, I'm basically still smacking Derek with something large and going through my stomach. Which is odd, honestly. <laughs> the plan. Ooh, a pet. Uh, what are you doing one. for the pet? Are you needing or greeting? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be greeting anyway, I just want to know if I actually have it or not, because if I don't have it, I'm just gonna pass. But... You mean if you do have it, you're gonna pass? Yes, that's what I meant. I am tired. So what would you like me to select? Greed or need? Greed, let's just do greed. Uh, give us more of a fair oh, chance that well, way. Ended up winning it anyway. Rats. 91 compared to a 26. Sorry, Shiro. Oh, my, God. my rolls are just... Wow. Uh, not great luck tonight. Yes, finally a 306 piece of armoring. <laughs> That's all I wanted. I have not gotten a single ember from tonight's run, I don't think. I'm gonna need to deconstruct all of my stuff first. I usually like to have a full tab to deconstruct. Usually I get a guaranteed one to two uh, embers with a full tab. I must agree with my master. You're far more trustworthy as corp. I sense something. They're in danger. Also, I know why Lana looks bit weird. It kind of looks like she's <laughs> younger during those cutscenes. Later on in the game, it's like she kind of grew up, but that would make sense because of the five year time skip that happens. I'm not going to say what or when in case somebody hasn't been there. 
Spoilers. Do you now? You were reported dead. Was that report wrong? Only somewhat. When a goal is important enough, one learns to overcome any obstacle. You definitely think really an obstacle is basically something that should stick with you. Basically, us two, as far as the story goes, we're two of the most powerful Jedi in recent history during that time. Why can't we just, I don't know, force pull this thing to crash? That is a good question. Like, we obviously do something with a ship later on. Not gonna mention what or when, to because spoilers. <laughs> But we, we still do something that's basically not easy for your typical Jedi, or for Caesar at least. Right? And yeah, here we are. Alright, you wanna race- oh. Wait, we can- Destroy a protector. Twice he has come to our world, one day he will return again. That's- oh, oh yeah, that's an awesome piece of lore. Huh. Uh, let's see. Right. Wanna just sign out here with our buddy? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of going uh, a little bit far away so that I could get a visual of both the statues and the lasers all at the same time. Love it. Goodbye, Treek. Alright. Oh, I still have my bubble on. Sorry, hold on, let me take care of that. Alright. Bubble removed. Alright. Shira, you want to start us off for a closer? Alright. So, uh, let's see. How should I start it off this time? Anyway, uh, I'll just swing it. So, this was our Flashpoint Frenzy for tonight. We just finished running Manon and Legacy of the Ricotta. If you like what you've seen, you could give me a follow over here, let's see. That is my information. Uh, here I'm gonna do kill information as well. So basically, you could follow us at the links provided here. What I try to usually do, I try to stream Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. Uh, Mostly during the morning time, uh, but I've been busy with school and stuff that's going on with real life, so I haven't really been able to keep a constant schedule. But usually the games that I play are Final Fantasy XIV, Slutor with Cal here, uh, Sunday nights. My Final Fantasy streams are usually Friday mornings. Uh, I go through the... Uh, story there and of course get distracted by side quests because that is what the game is all about it's all about the side quests not about the main story of course but anyway uh i'm i'm just gonna leave it at that because i don't really have a set schedule I'm, i would don't want to kind of like keep saying oh I, I i tried to do this this and that once i actually have a schedule i'll probably be posting it uh either on twitter or uh, have it on Twitch or somewhere like that. So I'm gonna hand over it. I hand it over to you, Kel. All Here we go. So Shira's information is in my Twitch chat. Uh, my schedule is also in my Twitch chat. I, on Saturday mornings, I stream Stardew Valley. I am doing a completionist farm. Come relax. On Sunday mornings, I stream Bounty Hunter, uh, Bounty Hunter gameplay in Sotor. No commentary. And then, of course, Shiro Sundays. And I do random occasional uh, streams as well, but who knows uh, when or what those will be. So 
you know, just keep your eyes out. Uh, one way to do that is to follow me on Twitter and follow me here for updates. Turn on that alert for both. Uh, that'll let you know when I'm about to do stuff. But also uh, my YouTube channel where I upload all of my Twitch content along with any projects I'm working on. So check those out. So I hope you all have a wonderful evening and that you have the courage to be legendary. And till we meet again.